Here I have two screens, my program, and on the left, a Python shell, in which the output of this program will display. On the right, this program is the Fibonacci series. I take X and Y, and I assign it 0 and 1, respectively. Then I hit a while loop, while Y is less than 13. Colon, do the following. This is the main thrust of this program. This is a very strange assignment statement that requires careful examination. It takes y, assigns it to x. It takes x plus y and assigns that to y. How does it do this? The different methodologies will produce different outputs. So let's carefully examine them. First, let's run this. Run. Run the module. The output will appear here on the left. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and 13. 1 and 2 is 3. 2 and 3 is 5. 3 and 5 is 8. 5 and 8 is 13. That's the Fibonacci series. Let's now examine this. Let's move this print statement down a bit, and now let's take a look at this guy. In X and Y, I have 0 and 1, while 1 is less than 13, do the following. There are two methodologies, two approaches for performing this operation. Let's look at method number 1. Y is 1. I assign that to X, which is now 1. Now I take x, which is 1, plus y, which is 1, and I come up with 2. And I assign that to y. When I print y, I get a 2. Well, I was supposed to get a 1. Well, this is not working. All right, well, let's do it one more time. Using the same methodology, you'll see it just becomes worse. Now, it prints out this 2, I'll put output here, and then it loops back around. y, which is 2, is still less than 13, it jumps down here. y is 2, it assigns that to x. x is now 2 also. x, which is 2, plus y, which is 2, is now 4. And then it prints out y, that's 4. Uh-oh. This is not working. You can see my output is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and 13. Those are the numbers in the Fibonacci series. These are not. So method number 1 does not work. Let's go for method number 2 now. X and Y are assigned the value 0 and 1 respectively. While 1 is less than 13, Y, 1 is less than 13. Do the following. Let's first assign these current values to the R values, to the values over here on the right-hand side of the equal sign. We'll call those the R values. Y is 1. X is 0. Y is 1. Now, using these values, let's assign values to X and Y. Y is 1 is assigned to x. x plus y is 0 plus 1. 1 is assigned to y. Print y, I get a 1. Bingo, I get a match. So far. Loops around. y is now equal to 1. Is 1 less than 13? Yes, it is. Jumps down here. y is now 1. x is 1. And y is 1. Now let's perform the math. y is 1. That is assigned to x. x plus y. 1 plus 1 is 2. That's now assigned to y. 2 goes here. Print y. I get a 2. Ah, we got ourselves another match. System jumps back up here. 2 is less than 13. Yes, it is. Jumps down here. 
Uh, we're going to need a little bit more fighting room. I can see that. Move this down a bit. So, y is equal to 2. Let's write that down. x is equal to 1. y is equal to 2. All right, so let's do the assignment. y is 2. That's assigned to x. 1 plus 2, that's 3. That's assigned to y. And you print y, that gives us a 3. And that's what we get here, 3. Because 1 plus 2 equals 3. On my printout, I'm getting a 1, and then a 2, and then I'm getting a 3. Now let's do another one. <clears throat> I come up here to the evaluation, to the condition, and 3 is less than 13, it continues. So what's in y? 3. What's in x? 2. What's in y? 3. Okay, let's do the assignment now. 3 is assigned to x. 2 plus 3 is assigned to y. That's 5. Now we print out y, and we get ourselves a 5. And bingo, on the left, that's what I've got. This is the Fibonacci series. Plain and simple. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Next one should be 3 plus 5 is 8. All right, let's do it. So 5 is less than 13. One more. 5 is y. What's in x? x has what? 3. That was our last value for x. That's a 3. So bring the, And y is equal to 5 now. So let's now do the assignment. 5 is assigned to x. 5 goes here. And x plus y, 3 plus 5, is assigned to y. That's at 8. And print out y, and I'm going to get an 8. And that's what I got right there. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 and 3 is 5, 3 and 5 is 8. And let's do the last one. 8 is less than 13. y has a what in it? An 8. X has a what in it? A 5. Y, we said, has an 8 in it. Let's now do the assignments. 8 is assigned to X. 5 plus 8 is assigned to Y, and that's a 13. And then it prints out Y, 13. And that is exactly what we've got over here, 13. This is George Bull. If you like this video, please rate it. I'd appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.